G'day guys, welcome to J Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video called Five Reasons Men Are Done With Dating. This is by Emily King, um, link in the video description. Go check her out if you wanna watch the whole video or you're interested in subscribing, liking, um, and engaging with her content. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about something that I have touched on quite a bit on my TikTok page, and that is why men are no longer dating. Whether it's temporarily, or if they're saying that they're done forever. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with the organization of them. If you think that number five is actually your number one, let me know, I'm interested to know this. I also want to know if I've left any big ones out. So let's get started. Number five, a reason why a lot of men have stepped back from the dating world is because of their own experiences with women having no issue with quickly breaking up. It feels like a lot of women mm -hmm. today just have a lack of commitment. We see that with the divorce rate of almost 50% for first time marriages and 65% for second time marriages and with women really taking the lead on initiating those divorces. Women will just see that the grass is greener. We hear about stories of monkey branching, but as we all know, the grass is not always greener once you actually get to the other side. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed before I start talking about a talking point, and one thing that's sort of catching my eye here a little bit is this is heavily edited. You can see the different cuts. So she's editing and curating her messaging. So she's probably gone on a monologue, cut a whole bunch of stuff out. I find it very interesting when you get large YouTubers who can't speak for 10 minutes straight without a cut. Guys, I never edit. I talk for sometimes for an hour flat. <laughs> and I'm not talking myself up. I just kind of understand how you can't talk for 10 minutes. All right. So I'm not bagging her out. It was an observation. But all right. So she's talking about men getting dumped, men getting used up, men being discarded by women. Yeah, absolutely. Any guy who's ever gone out with a woman, um, who has ever engaged with women or had a crush on a woman, um, has been hurt in some way, shape or form. Has been either broken up with, discarded, used up, whatever it is. It's just the reality of being a man. It's very hard for men to finally meet that one woman um, who he will marry, and hopefully it works out for him, but who, who, who will marry, right? He has to go through a lot of bullshit, a lot of trials and tribulations. So I don't think women will truly understand because especially when women are younger, men are chasing them. Men are, be, men are going to be chasing them, putting it all on the line, um, and they are there just receiving... Um, whether it be romantic gestures, attention, time, money, uh, experiences, love, all that sort of stuff. Men are giving, giving, giving. So why do men have enough of getting rejected? Plain and simply, it hits you and hurts people um, in their ego, right? As men, we're ego-driven. Um, for a lot of the time, we, we, we do hold a lot of importance on trying to get a woman, right? Especially when you're younger. Maybe not so much when you're a bit of an older head, but when you're younger. So when women don't like you or women don't want to engage with you or women discard you, it's very, very hurtful. And that's why a lot of men give up. Now, I'll, tell, I'll talk about a good friend of mine, Larry. Larry is the probably the best guy I've ever met, guys. A far better man than me when talking about ethics and morals and all that sort of stuff. He's a fantastic guy, but what has that gotten him in his life? It's just gotten him poor treatment from women. Um, Larry, I spoke to him very, very recently. Um, he's been on the dating apps trying to pick up girls. So Larry's 42, guys, and um, Larry was uh, divorced and went through a shocking divorce, and I've talked about his story at length in uh, other videos. But Larry is a guy who will never wake up and will never truly understand women, even though he does watch some of this type of content every now and again, um, he just never learns. And so he always puts a lot in, a lot of effort, a lot of time. He's very nice. He's very um, uh, a people pleaser, right? He's trying to do the things for the woman all the time. So then they think that he's a great guy because he's still believing that, that that's how you get him. Long story short, this guy gets hurt all the time. Uh, he gets over and over dumped over and over again, um, ghosted, rejected after one week or two months or whatever. Once they work out, he's boring. Once they work out, he's predictable. Once they work out, he's not a challenge. So I can understand why guys have enough of this bullshit. Uh, for me personally, uh, I never really was looking for wives or girlfriends um, on dating apps um, or in the dating when I was out there doing all that rampant stuff. I was just looking for action. So I was a bit of a scumbag. I didn't care if they dumped me. That was good because it saved me uh, time and effort. I couldn't give a stuff, really. Sometimes you'd be surprised by it. It might come when you were thinking things were going well, um, when you still might be really interested in a woman and they just dump you out of the blue, so I know what that's like. But it never really affected me to that extent. But I know it does affect a lot of men, especially men who are seriously looking um, for a girlfriend, somebody nice to spend time with. But either way, that leaves a lot of men that have experienced these quick and easy breakups from women. It ends up making them feel quite used because 
they are typically the ones, especially early on in the relationship, that has to invest a lot in a woman. And for her to break it off so easily and quickly, and I'm even including the ghosting that occurs very early on in relationships, the easy breakup via text message or just her giving him the silent treatment for some amount of time and then unloading all of the issues that she has with the relationship at one moment. And he is left blindsided because she kind of saved it all up and wasn't communicating until the very end when she's already decided to break up with him. Uh, we all- uh, so like guys, hey, a lot of us have been there and we learn a lot uh, about women through different channels and experiences in our lives. And when I say channels, I'm talking about different channels of experience, not YouTube channels. Um, some guys learn about it through um, having a lot of experiences with women, maybe when they're young, right? Um, they get uh, they, they see what works, what doesn't work. Um, they're the kind of guys who might be in that top 5% that everyone talks about who get all the actions. So they learn a lot about women, like female behavior. They might get... Um, very educated very early on. Then you get other guys uh, who uh, believe in the whole fairy tale. They believe in what society tells them about being a good man and what you're supposed to get out of it. They go, they get married, and as she said, the woman turns off on them um, and destroys their world and blows it up, right? That's how a lot of guys learn. So that's why, especially after that second experience, guys aren't rushing back onto the dating market. Uh, they've been hurt. They've had their lives destroyed. They might be on there looking for some action, but they're definitely not on there committing for the short term. Yes, you will get guys who don't learn. Uh, they get severely divorced, scraped, and straight away, back, bang, two months later, they've got a new girlfriend and they're bloody living with them or something. Um, it happens. But a lot of the time, men are like wounded uh, deer for a very long time after a divorce. I can speak in my own experience, gentlemen. I was never going to commit or go out with the girl seriously for at least three or four years um, after. And it would have had to be with someone who uh, is very, very much de-risked as much as possible. I know you truly can't do it, but you want to vet them as long as you can. So it would have taken me years, guys. So yet to be found, I can tell you that much. Also see this when women break up mentally, you know, before physically, where she already knows weeks months in advance that she's going to break it off with him and he is left blindsided when she actually tells him because she's made a decision and there's really nothing that he can do to convince her otherwise so i can understand that men that have gone through this why they wouldn't go so easily into making that happen again (laughs) he's not really i don't think she will ever truly understand and then once again i'm always skeptical um of female creators in the space because they will never know what it's like to be a man. It's like me talking about uh, periods or something. It's like I could be there talking about uh, period treatments and how to manage um, period pain. Okay, I might know all the theory. Um, I might be able to regurgitate things that I've heard off other channels or off women, uh, but you're never going to experience it. So the message is not authentic. She's just reading. You can see she's just reading dot points. What she's saying is true, but once again, it doesn't come from a place of authenticity diving into the dating world i do think that for most of these men that if this is their primary reason for not dating i do think that there's a healing process that they likely go through and that them being out of the dating world is temporary but that's why i listed it as my number five so let's go on to number four number four is unrealistic expectations these are like running rampant especially on social media we are hearing the crazies come out with their specific numbers that are required of his salary, his height, his size down yonder, all of it. And even- Let's just preface this. This is not dating in general. This is dating apps and people who meet on, yeah, applications, whether it be um, Snapchat as well and Facebook and uh, online dating and sites. Yeah, a lot of this bullshit happens on there. They're not all like that. I mean, I think that might be a more American thing where they just straight up ask you what you get paid and shit like that and... And they start carrying on. Yeah, there's always going to be women who say stupid things. But I like to be a bit balanced. Not every woman, guys, that I've ever put on my TikToks. That's not all women. That's just outrageous nutcases that I find and I talk about. And use an example of a talking point of some of the things that men can experience. But I don't say men are just done dating because we're all experiencing all of this bullshit that's on social media. Sure, it does happen. and But you should now, because you've seen it on social media, if you come across a woman who exhibits... Um, those sort of behaviors just fuck them off instantly you don't need to deal with them because you know what you're getting i'm not going to say it's all of them i'm going to always talk about this you get your tiktok type girls your social media girls who live on social media in la la land and that's not all women but 
it is a percentage of them, definitely a high percentage of them on Bumble and Hinge because they watch rubbish. They're the ones that are sitting there. Um, they're the ones that are getting pumped and dumped and then they're watching um, you know, all those female dating channels that I um, talk about um, sometimes and put on this show and make fun of. Um, and get horrible advice, and they're the ones that carry on stupid with the high expectations. Or, alternatively, they go to you know extreme um, radical womanism because they're almost like the extreme red pill version um, of chicks because they hate dudes, um, or they've had bad experiences with guys pumping and dumping them, and they believe that every single man is rubbish. Interesting. So this is an interesting take from her to use social media. I don't think, I don't think that's a true reason in specifics of what he does on a date what he says how he acts within the relationship what he spends on an engagement band if they're getting to that level and what we are seeing is that we're seeing women talk about this outside of relationships and within the relationship so a lot of these women on social media are single very few and far between are these women the types that are in long-term relationships and i think ding ding we all know the reason for that but they are still dangerous because they are influencing all women that are listening to their content and a lot of women that are watching them are realizing or thinking this whole mentality of if your man doesn't do this or he doesn't do that, it means that he doesn't care about you that much. So I think, yeah, I think it might be a bigger problem for the younger guys coming up, you know, the guys who are 18, 20, 25, and they've had women who have grown up on TikTok and Facebook. Because this wasn't really a big problem when I was out there, but I can absolutely understand um, the brain rot that is TikTok. Um, and a lot of the stuff on YouTube and, and stuff like that that women watch and take as gospel and advice, some of the stupid books they read, you know, as a man with logic and reason um, watching these channels, it just begs belief how they're so big and so profitable. Um, but as you said, there's a big market. Um, women do eat this stuff up and they then do or do apply it to their life. So I do think she's um, she's right with that. Those women are very dangerous to society because they absolutely do influence women. Women are, are influenced a lot of the time by the hive mind. Um, that is their friendship groups, circles, or people they look up to on social media. Uh, so sad but true. I agree with that point. Um, with that poison um, comes bad behaviors, um, stupid expectations, and just bad behavior. Like a lot of guys will put up with it. A lot of young guys will put up with it. Hopefully they're not anymore. But I think a man with experience is not going to put up with any um, any of that bullshit, you know, that whole, um, what is it, sprinkle, sprinkle, and, um, you know, being spoiled girlies and uh, all that sort of shit, you know, that all of these um, dating coaches put out there. I think the young guys have to put up with it because that's a lot of time I feel like they have to to get a root. He's not prioritizing you. He's even possibly cheating on you. And the impact that it has on a lot of single women are them believing that coffee dates are no longer good enough. Uh, what a man even chooses to wear on a date is not good enough. As far as what happens to men when they run into content like this, is that number one, they either do try to modify some of their things that they're doing and they're pouring in even more effort in order to keep a woman interested or two, they just, they hear it all and it's all overwhelming and they just say, look, if that's where the bar, the bar is at, like these things that don't even really matter and don't really tell who a person is, like if that is what you're concerned with, the most women, uh, I don't want it. So that's also leading to a lot of men communicating, at least on social media, <laughs> that they're just done with dating because they're sick of hearing about all of these unrealistic expectations and they just know. Yeah, okay, cool. I still got the point, yeah, cool. Girls wanting heaps of shit and guys not wanting to give it. That's been going on forever. So I don't think that's just a new thing. All right, guys, so halfway through, um, if you're enjoying the content, uh, please sub to the channel, aiming for 10K subscribers. So I would greatly appreciate it if you joined the channel and were part of that growth journey. And if you do want to support me and the channel, guys, just like, comment, interact in the comments with the other guys. Uh, YouTube looks upon that very favorably. All right, let's uh, get to the back end of the show. That they don't want to try to meet those expectations. So they are saying they'd rather just step out. Now, I think that a lot of these men, again, it's more of a temporary situation. That's why I listed it as number four. And I think that when they meet the right woman that is not spewing this nonsense or believing in this nonsense, then of course, 
if she's an attractive girl, that man is going to be excited about the potential of dating her. Reason? Yeah, good old bait and switch. We'll see if she gets to that. But that's what it is. And a lot of the time, guys need to be very, very careful about women um, who seem to be truly on their side, especially if they're still single at 32 and 35 years old and they seem to be really perfect. If they were so perfect, they would have been snapped up. There's always something wrong with them, right? If a girl is really pretty and all of a sudden she's just the best chick you've ever met, don't think she's been sitting around her whole life waiting for you, you at home to swipe on her on the dating app and then be perfect for you. She's been chucked to the streets. Why? Because there's going to be behavioral traits that are going to come out down the line and a lot of guys don't understand that women are acting, they're auditioning for a role, especially at that age when they're looking to lock down a guy. They will be the best woman there that could ever exist. They will be your dream woman. It's a sales pitch. And then once you move in, the face, you know, the face will come off a little bit, the mask will come off, you'll start to see things. You go, hang on, but they'll still maintain it enough until you get married. Right? And a lot of the time after you get married, well, then you say the real person. So that whole act, whether it's and act at the time, or they just really do love you at that time, and, and they're putting in this massive effort that then drops off, or it's just a blatant strategy to manipulate, um, that all ends at some point. And a lot of guys learn it the hard way, myself included, um, that you need to be careful about women. And number three for men not wanting to date right now is when there has just been this pattern of no effort being reciprocated by a woman. I speak about this a lot on my TikTok page. Simple examples of this is he's always the one reaching out first. He's planning the first date. He's paying for the first date. I think those things that I just listed very much across the board, most all men, like 99% of men, totally fine with that. The problem comes in when she does not match the energy and effort when communicating and that's communicating on the date and outside of the date before because she doesn't like you if she likes you always talk about this you don't need to take him on a fucking date you meet him behind a dumpster down the local chinese restaurant and bang him up against the wall that's just the reality of it you don't need to be if you're chasing and trying to set up dates and be romantic and she's barely giving you jack shit you don't even know if she's going to turn up on the night they don't like you you just an option if everything else falls through maybe they'll go and get a free meal out of you uh, that's all it is. For the date, after the date. For example, after the date, if she doesn't say thank you, like in person, and then also after the date, like outside of communicating on the date, and she's not texting or calling and saying thank you and following up, then she's not really showing that appreciation for his efforts. That's really difficult for him to want to move forward in that relationship. The it's not going to move forward anyway, because she doesn't like the guy. I don't know about this point. Yeah, cool. Everyone wants to have uh, energy reciprocated, right? When you're putting in energy and effort with people. But it's on the guy as well. If you can't see the signs that she doesn't want to fucking bar of you and you're still trying to line up dates and be pressuring as well and they might turn up because you're being really persistent, that's on you. Also, following up, uh, if women don't talk to you or even text you the next day, they don't like you. Like, if you guys have ever experienced a woman that is just that into you, they will text you all fucking day. Now, while I don't condone texting back and forward and messages all day, they'll text you, they'll message you, they'll check in with you. None of this, oh, yeah, my phone went flat or I fell asleep, sorry, um, I didn't see my phone for fucking three days or whatever bullshit. I've been on the receiving end of that before. But you need to understand the cues. If a girl likes you, you'll know. If she's being aloof, she doesn't like you. Fucking drop it. Straight up. Things that can occur before the first date or even after the first date is if she's just never texting first, if she has super slow replies to him reaching out first. And what about if she just never initiates or follows up with the things that he told her previously is going to be like going on in his life and she just sort of forgets about it. She doesn't check in and say, oh, hey. She's talking to other guys, like most girls are, especially most younger girls who have all the apps and have grown up on social media. Even the, even the chicks out on bloody, um, that are like 35 plus that I used to sometimes connect with, they're all over all the apps, all over the dating sites. They're just as bad as young 15 year old girls or 18 year old girls who carry on and have all the options and you know get the dopamine hit. You know They're monster hunting as well. They just don't realize they're doing it. <laughs> like. 
Yeah, I think the more people understand how it truly works out there, the better and less frustrated everyone will be, guys. That's why I'm here. That's why I like to try and tell you guys what really happens through my own experiences. So yes, I think, look, she's not saying anything wrong. It's a frustration, yes. Someone's not giving you back the effort that you're giving. Stop, drop it. That's it. Like, don't go fucking chasing, trying to pay for please. Or maybe double texting, following up. She didn't respond. You know, you sent a message at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Oh, she hasn't responded by 8 o'clock. Guys, women have never had their phones one foot away from their hand. The phone is glued to their hand all the time. If they don't say that and respond any time, unless they're at work, and a lot of time at work, women have their phones or men have their phones on them, they're going to say shit straight away. So if they're not being responsive, they don't give a fuck. Hey, how how was that gathering? How was that party? Oh, how was that work thing that he had? Especially when men are typically really focused on those things because the pressure is usually on him to really keep the conversation going and asking questions and following up with what she has going on in her life. So the reciprocation is key because it's what allows him to believe that she is truly interested in him for who he is as a person. This leads us into- Guys, watch this video. Cut, 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 cut. Hard cuts all the time. Come on. Number two, he can't find the right woman, which I don't care what anyone says, it is harder today, even with dating apps. Dating apps actually makes it quite a bit harder. How would she know? How many, has she been a man in a previous life? I think I think the idea, I'll tell you this before I end the video. Uh, I'm not going to listen to her Babylon for two more minutes before I say something. I'm going to end it pretty shortly. But my, my final remark here is, guys, the idea you had of what a good woman is doesn't exist anymore. There are very, very few of them. All of them have been tainted by social media, applications, um, online dating, um, promiscuity, promiscuity, Monster Hunting, Steve-O's, Bryce's. Like, I remember even back 20 years ago, it was yeah pretty common you could find a nice girl who didn't go out and do all those things. But now they have all the options in the world. They've been out there. They've gotten the sugar hits. There just are not many good women left. Ones that have not uh, done things that are undesirable for men, like banging a whole bunch of dudes or, or being available to many guys. I might have even banged them, but women even who go on heaps of dates with guys and accept um, courtships from many different men. That doesn't, I don't think that exists anymore. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. Um, hope you enjoyed the content. If you're still here, once again, thank you very much for listening to my thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.